Good luck, new person who, yeah, this is definitely their first time on the show. <laughs> Put your hands together for five a gram. Five a gram. <laughs> So uh, he asked me to teach him how to swim. And uh, I just figured he could swim, because the whole time growing up, he was hood, so he couldn't really express his emotions like that. So whenever somebody would say, hey, let's go to the pool, he'd be like, nigga, I don't fuck with water like that. <laughs> He's like, oh, all right. Oh, apparently there's a tape with Trump saying the N-word. Cool. I think the problem is, I think we should stop black people with British accents from saying the N-word. <laughs> If I close my eyes and you sound like Harry Potter, you shouldn't be saying that shit. I think we can all agree, hey, my nigga, it doesn't sound right regardless of skin color. Like, fuck them classy ass niggas, man. They never had to try to sound white on the phone for an interview. Like, it's bullshit. Oh, I'm from Mississippi, that's why I say ignorant shit. And uh, I was on the phone with a homie, and he told me that guy sent the hurricane Florence to kill all the gay people. And, uh, Shit. Go ahead, finish it. Finish it. And I was like, nah, bro, like, I've lived in West Hollywood for the last two years. It's probably maybe twice. Like, <laughs> right, that was, yes. you finish. That was Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, 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 watch out for the Watch out for the I had a feeling that was going to happen. Uh, Sorry. I'm like Jeremiah. We're glad you finished. Uh, <laughs> So uh, let's start it off. This is your first time on the show, right? Yeah, never been and, on. And you're, and you, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, two years uh, in August. Two years. And has your stage name always been Five a Gram? Or nah. is that just a special deal you're doing tonight? Nah, it's just tonight? a special deal at the moment because I'm in between jobs. And I, I figured I'd get on the show if I wrote that, so... He did randomly pick it up. He did randomly just pull it out. Like if your name was Dave Wilson, I you mean, also yeah. would have been on the show tonight. Leave it in. Dave Wilson would make me money after the show, so. Uh, I, you never know. Well, you never know. Because you were funny. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Not about the name, man. It's about the it's jokes. It's about you know that everybody's pulled out of a bucket on this show, yeah. right? If there was any design to it whatsoever, I wouldn't have. Her know. vagina is designed more than this. Yes. <laughs> Designing vaginas, I'm telling you, gotta like that shit. <laughs> Two architects. Designing vaginas could be a great show about just five southern women. It's like the yeah. next chapter of Designing Women. A lot of open know. concepts. <laughs> <laughs> so find the gram, let's jump right into it. How long uh, you lived in L.A.? Uh, I've been here since January 2016. January 2016? Um, right after Trump. Yeah. So two years. Not before. Trump's I like the yeah. I like the joke about oh, British people using the M word. I, I don't like that shit, man. You don't right. like? Well, I know you don't like it, but I like that joke. I mean, I like, I don't know, but the best, yeah. the best, yeah, uh, the best line in that I think, which I loved, which is that they never have to use a white voice on a job interview on the phone. That is a real, true, awesome, great observation that people laughed at. But it's like, you know, if you get people to laugh at the truth in a very real moment, then you win, yeah. I think, yeah. on stage. Yeah, it, it was a good joke, and the last joke was great, too. Thank you. I mean, those yeah. two, two, I go that area. First joke I didn't love as much, but those last two, that's that's where I think How's be. L.A. been treating you? Uh, it's rough, but it's cool. Yeah. What do you do for work? Uh, I did, I used to, I, I well, I did Postmates for the most part, and then I uh, worked at an after-school program for school for a little while, and now I'm just looking for a new job. What would you do for the after school program? Uh, basically, we would like play games with kids, and uh, like I would do sports stuff, and then like there was this lightsaber. Ooh, what kind of sports? Oh, stuff? Yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah, yeah. So we play games with them. Uh, I know there's some people that would do like the bilingual oh, stuff, so they could teach like the same. Hold up the show real quick. This bitch thought you yeah. just said not funny. <laughs> what? Yeah, right here. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Crystal, this is a, I can't believe you don't know at this point, Crystal has no filter. It's just going to be that. Uh, Do you ever so, let a girl say the N-word if you're having sex with her? No, I haven't. All right, right. just curious. Great question. <laughs> So five a gram, uh, you really are selling hot the meanwhile? Uh, you know, maybe. Not on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> uh, YouTube, all right. 
Not on camera. Private grants pretty not, cheap. Not at the after school program either. Right? No, 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 fuck. No, no, yeah, we don't want to mix those two jobs. They don't have money, so. They don't have money. <laughs> Some of them do. Do you, uh, are you dating anyone right now? Are you I'm dating? not. And do you want to be or no? Yeah. Just, uh, I mean, no, nah, like I'm chilling right now. It's been yeah. cool. Like, I've just been hitting stages and everything. So. You hook up with anyone since being in LA? Uh, yeah. Like, how does that happen? Do you go off dating apps and things like that? Uh, I used to, but like a couple months ago, I deleted the dating apps because they just—it's just not fun. It's right. Fun. Why is it not fun? I don't—it's—I don't know. It's like we swiped on each other because we potentially want to fuck. Like, mm -hmm. we didn't really like meet and get to know each other. So. But isn't that why you swipe? Is so that you can meet and get to know each other? No. Mm -hmm. So what's your new strategy? I just meet people. Like, I go out. Bars, clothes, I meet people. Just How's that just working out for you? Like the last chick you hung out with, what was the conversation that started the evening? You know, like what really got it cooking? Um, you, you oh, like, the la like, last girl I hung out with, the uh, Dodgers game was on. I'm a big Dodgers fan. So it, Where was it on at? Where were you at? Bar, the dark room on Melrose. Uh -huh. yes. And you were watching a baseball game. Yeah. She was by herself? Yeah. And you were by yourself? Yeah. And were you already sitting at the bar? You were sitting down or you sat next to her because you saw she was alone? No, she was like sitting on the end and I walked in. And he said, uh, I got two balls and no strikes. No, I just walked up, asked her if she liked the Dodgers. She was like, yeah, and I saw water and beer and just started talking about it. Like, old like, school, man, 1990. See, some Tommy Lasorda shit. Yep, water and beer, you're talking Dodgers, and then what happens? Uh, we just talked for a while, got her number, and then I went home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Oh, that was a foul out. Yeah. <laughs> so it's pending, you know, it's pending. It's pending. It is. All right, how about the last time you got laid? What was the, how did that start? How did yeah, that details, you? please. I don't know if you want to tell that if you're... No, Why? you do. Yeah, you do. Why wouldn't you want to tell that? Tell it. No, I just, it's personal. You're a shy guy, aren't you? I, I'm a really shy dude, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you gotta cut to the truth of what's going on in your life when you're up here on the stage. That's the best yeah. part. Do you want to whisper it into my ear and then I'll tell it? But still on the microphone. Take a chance, the rapper. <laughs> oh my god. The audience loved it. <laughs> they, loved it. they felt sorry for it. Actually... Put a foot behind her, it's not gonna get you out of this one. <laughs> they actually did have I keep forgetting what her name is. What is it again? It's Jolene. Jolene Santa Monica, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a pony tonight. <laughs> All right. Now, where, you say you're from Mississippi? Yeah, I'm from Mississippi. Do you run into that a lot of people from back home saying stupid shit? All the time, dude. Black, white, doesn't matter. Everybody's ignorant. Everybody. What's the most ignorant thing you've ever heard someone from Mississippi say? Besides that joke, um, I don't know. Like, People be like, football is God and shit like that. What's the what's the most racist thing anybody's ever said to you directly? In Mississippi or yeah. anywhere? Sure. Anywhere. I mean, if, I'd be surprised if it happened in WeHo, but go ahead. <laughs> uh, I remember as a kid, this white adult at the school called me a monkey. <laughs> All right. Nobody knows what that is. The pineapple under the cereal. It's the SpongeBob song. <laughs> that is... The yellow shirt. Crazy. Yeah. How old were you? I was like eight or nine. We had a football game and we won, and a white parent called me a monkey. What the fuck? This is why almost every 30 for 30 takes place in Mississippi. Yeah. It's the beginning of it. It's like, oh yeah, we fucked up here in this civil rights issue. Yeah. That shit. That happens. Like, like, like the technically, technically, slavery was lifted in like 2012 in Mississippi, technically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? Yeah, if you look at like law wise, so technically I was like a slave till 17, so. Oh, awesome. I, don't, I mean, Crystal was a sex slave. Kid Crystal's still a sex slave down the street. But this, like, with, with good jokes, and you can obviously write a good joke, this material, like, this base of like a premise and a setup is rich as shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna work on it. Well, you seem like a great guy. I wish you would tell us uh, about the night that you actually got laid. I, I, I have a feeling that the reason why you don't want to tell us is because there's some embarrassing moments, perhaps, or some compelling moments in the evening. And my theory, of course, is that you'd be shocked at how funny it would be if you did this story. Well, I, have, I, I do. Like, I have jokes about it. That's yeah, I but I like the shit that people don't want to talk about, my friend. That's, that's where you find diamonds. You can always have gold and some creative 
abbreviated bits that are, you know, exaggerated and this and that, but sometimes, you know, it's yeah, the I moments you. where, I mean, I remember after, uh, after we left uh, Louisville, Kentucky last summer, Jeremiah and I, we were on the road together, and, uh, ah, forget it, it's too long of a story, I got oh. five a gram, everybody, there goes five a gram. What do you guys think? Should we